For our next story, look at the map behind me. It's called a heat map. It uses colors to signify temperatures. A darker red would mean a higher temperature. This is today's heat map. Now look at India. It is dark red in this map, darker than most of the world. Summers are here in India. Temperatures are rising. There are predictions of heat waves. All of this is pushing the country to the limit of human survival. Is there a way out? Will this summer be India's hottest on record and are we prepared for it? Our next report tells you. It's that time of the year again. Days are longer, temperatures are higher, mangoes are in season. The Indian summer is here and it brings with it a stark forecast. It's going to be sweltering. India's meteorological department has sounded the warning. This summer will be hotter, especially between the months of April and June there will be more heat wave days. Which will be the worst affected areas? It's the central and western peninsula. States like Gujarat, Maharashtra, Karnataka, Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha and Andhra Pradesh. So how high will the temperatures be? In some parts of the country, mercury is already touching 38 degrees Celsius. It will soon cross 40 degrees. During heat wave conditions, it will be 4 to 5 degrees above the normal high temperature, which hovers around 45 degrees Celsius. So expect really high temperatures. Some records could also be shattered this year. Then there's the wet bulb reading. It combines air temperature and relative humidity. It provides a more accurate reading of how hot it is. Usually the survivability limit of wet bulb reading is 35 degrees Celsius. A World Bank report says India could be one of the first places where it soars past that. What does that mean for the country? Well, first, the impact. An average of two people lost their lives every day during the summer in India from heat waves last year. This year, the number could be higher. Then there's the impact on the economy. Longer spells of heat spell doom. It harms crops and vegetables. This will impact production, resulting in higher food prices. Heat waves will also deplete reservoir levels, compounding the water crisis. Plus, power consumption will be ramped up, which means more coal will be needed. All of this impacts the economy. The RBI, that's India's central bank, is set to announce its decision on interest rates. They are likely to remain unchanged. Inflation remains under control for now. But the bank is worried about food supply shocks caused by heat waves. So they are not cutting interest rates just yet. But is there a silver lining? India's rising temperatures are due to the El Nino effect. It's a climate pattern leading to unusual warming of ocean waters. El Nino is behind the heat wave conditions in India. But the good news here is El Nino conditions are weakening. La Nina, an opposing climate pattern, could soon set in by the month of August. That would mean cooling of temperatures and better monsoons for this year. So things could get better, but before that, it will get worse. India goes to polls on April 19th. It continues until June 1st. So people have to go out and vote. And they will have to do it in extreme heat. Which means it could be dangerous. Continued exposure to heat could lead to heat stress. It can result in exhaustion, cramps and even heat strokes. So consume enough fluids, wear light clothes and try to avoid the sun. Because while you can't beat the heat, you can at least try to keep your cool.